Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code. It's a very easy problem. The problem name is palindrome number. So the problem statement goes like this, that you're given integer X return true. If X is a palindromic integer, else you have to return false. Now you might be thinking, what is a palindrome? Now a palindrome is an integer which reads the same when you read the number from backward as well as from forward. So as you can see that one to one is a palindrome because you read it from left to right. It is one to one. If you read it from right to left, it is also one to one. But one, two, three is not a palindrome because when you read from left to right, it is one, two, three. But when you read from right to left, it becomes three, two, one. Cool. So uh, the one thing which you have to understand is whenever you go through a form statement, understand the constraints as well. So the constraints say that whatever number you have can be negative as well. Okay. And it is like, it can be in an integer range, but still like when you're multiplying stuff, you can like uh, take long, long, but what you can see is that whenever it's an like, so we're talking about negative numbers as well. Now for negative numbers, just go through the problem statement and see what is the explanation from left to right. It reads minus one to one, but from left to right to left, sorry, from right to left, it was reading one to one minus. So which means that they're not like, yeah, they are also shifting the position of like minus also. So, which is like in that cases, when you have minus in any number, they always become non palindromic because the minus will change the sign and like it will not be happening that, uh, with a number that is having minus will be same reading from left, right and right to left. Cool. So which means that whatever number you have, if it is a negative number, then it will always be a non palindromic number because it cannot be reading the same from left to right and right from left. Okay. Now how you can check this out. Now there are multiple ways. So either like the way, like the very simple way is like you can convert that integer. You can contain like convert the integer to a string. And in that string, what you can just check that you just iterate over the string from left to right and right to left. Or like you can just take, take the string str one, let's say. Okay. And just the next thing is like reverse the string. When you reverse the string, let's say it is str2. Now you just match out whether str1 and str2 are same because if you have a string like, let's say one, two, three, if you reverse it, it will become three to one. Now they are not same, but if you have a string one to one, if you reverse it, it will become one to one. So they are same. So like, this is one of the ways you can do that. Now, if you don't want to do like this, like wanting to convert it into a string and all of that, then you can just, what you can do is that you have to take the string that is let's say one to one and you have to reverse it in a manual way. Now how to do that in the manual way? whatever number you have, let's say that the number is one, two, three, four. Okay. Now what you can do is try to extract the last digit out of that number. The last digit of a number is that number modulo n modulo 10. Okay. So the, the last digit of a number, if you want to get it, you can just take the, like the number itself and like modulo it with 10. So you will get the last number. Now you have the last number, let's say four with you. Now, what you can do is now delete out this last number from that particular number. How to delete out? You just make your n equal to n divided by 10. Now in that scenario, if let's say that you have one, two, one, two, three, four, if you divide it by 10, whatever number you get, you get one, two, three point four. Now, because you are storing an integer or maybe long, long, whatever you can say, this will be excluded out. So you only have one, two, three, which means that the last digit will be excluded out. So what you're trying to do is that you are taking out the last digit. Now you're deleting all the last digit. Now you have this large digit. Now you again take out the last digit and you will take the next digit and append it to the, like the previous digit you just have extracted out. So what you are trying to do is that you are taking out the last digits of every number and forming a new digit, like a new number from left to right again. Okay. So which means that you're taking out from right to left and making a number from left to right. Okay. And thus you have to also store the copy of the original number because let's say the original number one, two, three, four. Now you have the copy of it. You just make one, one more copy, one, two, three, four. Now from this number, you keep on extracting out the last digit and make a new number. Let's say like four, three, two, one. And then you have to just match out whether four, two, three, two, one is equal to one, two, three, four. If they are same, then the answer is yes, they are palindrome because reading from left to right and right to left are same. Else you have to return that it is not correct. So that's the overall logic. I'll take it down to the code part and you, it will like move it to you. So let us move on to the code part. Now what I've done is that you have to first make a copy of the number that you have. So I've made a copy. Then if the number is less than zero, which means that it is negative, we just return out false that like, we don't have to think about that case. It is always negative. Like it cannot be a palindrome. Now, 
Now, what you can do is that if it is negative, you just like exclude out this case, this case will not come true. Now, what you'll do is that you have to now find a, a reverse of that number. So reverse is stored in this. You'll keep on doing a while loop. You'll take out the last digit, as you can see, like the last digit can be extracted out by modeling, like doing a model of that particular number with 10. Now you will take that number, multiply that number, like the number that you're building. So you're building the reverse number in this number, when this variable that is reverse, multiply that number that you are building with 10 and add that particular number that you've extracted out from this number. Okay. And then just divide that particular number by 10. So, which means that extracting out the last number, appending it into a new number, extracting out the last number, appending it into a new number. So you're taking out the numbers from right to left and appending it from left, to right? So that you will have the got the number that is reverse. Now, if the copy of the number is equal to the reverse number, which means that the append row or it's not append row. So that's the overall logic and code part. Now, what we have done here is that we have just like this is only one for loop and this for loop will iterate over from left to right over the numbers length. So the number length is let's say five. So it will do a for loop for five. So this number length can be of 32, like three to about 31. So whatever number length it can go, but like it is very small range only. So this is somewhat O of like the time complexity of this is O of length of the number that we have. Okay. And that is because of the while loop that we are iterating over. And that's the overall logic and code for this for this problem. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I'll see you next one. I like your coding and bye.